Hi everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. It is Saturday and I'm actually starting the vlog pretty early because I'm working on albums this week. Um, we're gonna do a big release of floral albums. I'm probably gonna do maybe like six designs, um, but I've just been counting my stock. So I've got a lot more than I thought, but like not a lot. So I wanna distribute it evenly across the designs, but I haven't designed them yet, so I'm gonna work on that shortly. So I've got my box of small albums. I haven't like, even taken these out of the box because this is a sealed box. Then these are my large albums. I've got some minis around here and also some other minis. And then this is some more small albums and some reusable albums. These are the other minis. The mini is such a cute size, but it's not very popular. It's basically like a credit card size album. It would fit the freebie sheets. So something like that, but it's so cute. Also like washi cards, anything like in that kind of size range. And then obviously reusable albums. I've got this box of like the normal ones, but I found a load of these, which is like the original style with the smaller coil. So there isn't like anything wrong with these, but for some reason, when the supplier changed them to be the thicker coil, I obviously didn't use it what I had, which I just don't know why, <laughs> but um, it seems like a shame to waste them now. So I am going to be releasing, so the reusable albums, I'm going to do like a drop down and you can choose like the normal big coil, then like the smaller coil option. And then I will probably have like a B grade option just for my actual Oops albums. And I'll put these at like a little bit of a discount, but there's nothing wrong with them. Like they don't class as B grade albums. They're just a bit different, but I just want to be transparent in the fact that it's not the exact same as the ones I've been releasing recently. So, yeah, I've I've got loads of albums to make basically, so that is what this week's vlog is gonna be. It's actually been the King's coronation today, so we watched that this morning, and tonight we have got a Too Good To Go bag collection, which I'm very excited about. I did join the app like a long time ago when it wasn't really, there wasn't much happening on it, so I never actually got a bag. And then Sarah messaged me and she was like, have you ever used Too Good To Go? And I was like, no, but I'm gonna have a look. So, uh, there's a Starbucks one, so we've uh, reserved two bags, so we'll show you what we get. I, I'm, I don't know what we're gonna get, basically I read a review and saw like someone's sample bag, um, but Tom's got one as well, so hopefully between us we have something that each of us like and we can kind of mix and match. We might get duplicates, I don't know, but that is something we have to go and do in like an hour or so. And then it is games night tonight with Julia and Sean. Julia is by Gem Designs. I never vlog on a Saturday, so this is so weird to be telling you like my Saturday things. Um, but yeah, I've also been cutting the mystery today. I'm so close to being done with the mystery. I've got the mini kits to do for removable mat and premium mat, but I've done SVK, all the add-ons, all the fashion boxes, like the bulk of it. So I can put that together next week, probably when I cut my albums and I'll probably cut premium mat at the start of next week. So we have a bit of a plan, which is good, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna finish collating kits now because that is sort of the thing I need to do to be able to move on from this week's releases and get onto albums because I don't wanna be having piles of kits sitting around while I'm trying to work on albums because albums are quite a, they take up a lot of space. <laughs> so that is today's next task. So we just come back with our two good to go bags. We ended up getting two, I think I said, um, and we did read on the receipt what we got, but we're gonna open them and show you. <laughs> Thank you for selecting a magic bag from Starbucks, a magic bag. Okay, so this just has like the cooking instructions. So we got in bag one, we got a steak and cheese panini. A five cheese toasty. I hope the neighbors aren't looking through their window right now. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I've also got a five cheese toasty. A chicken Caesar wrap. And then I've got two of the signature breakfast sandwiches. These are really good. A steak and cheese panini. And a mozzarella and tomato pizza, pizza base topped with tomato, mozzarella, tomato, sauce, cheddar, cheese, and parsley. <laughs> so that is our too good to go bag. What do you think? It's all right for five, isn't it? So we paid five pounds each. I totted up the receipts and this would have cost, if you'd paid for it, like 42 pounds, which is obscene, but we're now sorted for food for the next couple At least of days. 15 minutes. Good morning, it's Sunday. I've just had my uh, Starbucks breakfast thing, which was very good. So it is albums today. So I made some templates to test the cutting of the albums on the Graph Tech and um, they all worked, but I, I think I mentioned about having like the front of the large album and the spine on separate pages 
Joanne wanted me to try them together. She thinks it might work and I like honestly don't know, but I didn't even try it. I definitely should have just tried it. So I'm gonna do that now before I get to designing and then I'll know if it works or not. Hopefully it works, cause that would be great. <laughs> The most annoying thing about the graph check is that every time you load it up, you have to like tell it your cut settings again, whereas the silhouette would like remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Right. <laughs> so this is just like a test sheet. So that clearly didn't work. I can see that it started to cut here. And then it like went off i might try and move it up slightly so this is the file as you can see um no thank you how do i get this to go away oh my god i don't know uh, okay um i've got a little bit of room to move it potentially up this way so i guess i'll try that don't know how close to this edge i can be but obviously i'm too close to this edge and i could move it closer here but i don't really want it to be that much closer and these test sheets that i'm using are from when i printed the hip hip parade kit wrong so this is like the mustard green that i was not happy with um, so i'm just using it to test the arms so we don't waste the good paper because album paper is very expensive so it seemed to be like when it turned this corner it went like straight because the paper twisted so i'm gonna just leave it separate spines for now because i th think it's just too wide L large albums are just really big so that's a shame, but now I have my templates, I'm going to get to designing the floral albums. So that took way longer than expected. I was so indecisive with the florals. I downloaded like the floral patterns that I bought in like October. When did I do the advent? It must have been like September. Mm, I don't know, a couple of months ago. Um, and I didn't realise there were so many. So there are 121 patterns. I had to pick six. So I made a little short list and I shortened it down and then I like put them together and thought what colours look good together that aren't too similar. So we've got six. I'll test print like one size, I don't need to do them all because the design is pretty cohesive across like every album size. And then I think I'm going to make one of each for photos and get photos out of the way. Because I think that would that would make me feel better going into next week knowing that like the, the final part, the listings and the photos can be done early. So let's test print and I'll show you the designs. So we are printing now. I accidentally had a design wrong, so I've printed the purple one twice, but they look really cute. So I'm gonna test the colors and then we will give them a go. Um, well, I need to figure out the sizes to cut my laminating sheets into. Oh, we're not done. So this is the oops one. I accidentally like didn't put the design far enough over, but I'll keep that because I can test my cut settings on it. But I'll show you the design. So this is the small album that I've just printed to test. So I've done six and I've tried to do them quite different. So this is like the minty pink coloured one, but like the background colour, the main colour is mint. So that's what I've gone for. We've got the purple one. I love this one. This might be my new large album when I get one. This is the iconic uh, pink floral pattern that I used to do when I first released the albums. I've been calling this Ava, so Ava it shall remain, and the rest of all got like different names. It's just the only one that's not a new design basically, but I didn't really want to lose it because I just love it so much. <laughs> so that's the pink one. We've got a yellow one. This is so pretty. Love the pinks as well, but like its main colour is yellow. This is probably the darkest one. It's got like navy blue florals, but then some light bits as well. And then we've got a neutral one, which I thought was super pretty. It kind of leans a little bit purple, but I think it is still neutral, but it doesn't really look like the purple one. So those are my new albums. So I'm happy with how they all printed. So I'm going to laminate them now. laminate last night and today I've just been making like a test of each album and I'm glad that I've done a test because I've got a problem with the reusable albums 
the bottom corner. So not this corner, not this corner, not this one, but this one, specifically just this one. Um, it's cutting, uh, let me, I don't know how to show you. Let me weed it. Basically like the angle or I don't know if it's the angle or whatever, the like the amount of curve on the corner is always bigger in that one corner. And I've tried a couple of things to fix it. So what I think is causing it is like how close to the edge the cut is on this side. All of the other flowers are sort of maybe like come to here or even a bit less. Um, I think it's just causing like a bulge in the media when it loads in the machine and then that's the last corner that gets cut and it's just where like it ends up not being the right size. I don't know but um, I can't fix it quickly today. So I'm gonna just do reusable albums on silhouettes and all the other albums are cutting fine on the graph tech. I did have to tweak the large album spines. So I did have five on a sheet initially, basically like this, but they end up catching here. It doesn't do like a clean cut. So I've just put four on a sheet, spaced them further apart. And also the last one, the fifth one on this edge was also not cutting properly, which is what makes me think it is to do with how close it is to the edge. So I've just gone for four um, and that will be better. So I'm gonna finish up laminating my test sheets and then make one of each album. I'll have to fix the reusable file, but I'll do that and then I'm ready to take photos, which I'm gonna hopefully do tomorrow. six of the reusable albums for photos now and they're so cute so we've got the blue one the purple one and like the minty colored one we've got the pink one the like neutral one and then the yellow one i feel like kat will want this one she loves yellow <laughs> um so now that i've done these i'm gonna do the large ones i've got a few more to cut on the graph tech the minis and the smalls, I haven't actually cut them yet. So I'll do that quickly. They're just so cute. I love that we've got a floral range now. Like, look at them. So gloomy today i don't think i could have chosen a worse day to take my photos but all of the album photos are done i've just edited them so i have to do the listings but apart from that everything is ready to go like the photos are definitely the worst part so i did use real flowers in the photos this time and i'm really happy with how they turned out unfortunately i wasn't able to find blue mint <laughs> or like a, a mauvey beige colored flower which I don't think is surprising so I got some white ones and used those as like neutral ones and then I got pink purple and yellow for the albums that match those colors so here is a little look at some of the pictures I took I got some like these are like the listing photos so they're the kind of more like stage shots and then I got a few that are like well I don't know I meant to delete this one they're just like I guess more like Instagram-y shots. I'll probably try and post those over the next couple of weeks. And I want to sneak some as well. So I might use this one as like the sneak because it's got three different designs and you can't see like all of them. So I guess it's a little bit sneaky, I don't know. And I got to use my macro lens, which is fun because I literally never use it. And this morning I did orders, but I'm gonna drop those off on Thursday. So I'm just gonna try and do orders as they come in until then. And I think tonight I will try and laminate the reusables that I've printed get the other albums printing and I don't know if I'll get them cut today but I want to be sort of making albums tomorrow and Thursday so I just need to like ramp up production of those now.
thought I would check in with the album progress. I have printed, laminated and cut everything, which I'm really excited about because the graph tech made it like such a less stressful, least stressful? Because the graph tech made the whole thing like 10 times less stressful. I was actually able to laminate sort of one and a half sheets in the time that the graph tech cut a sheet. So it was working at the same time I was, apart from the large albums, because that's just like one cut on a page. So those were actually quicker than me. But in the end, it kind of evened out. And by the time I finished laminating, I'd almost cut everything. So I'm feeling really good about that. I'm making reusable albums now. I've got them all piled up next to me. So I'm hoping to finish those tonight and then tomorrow I'll make, I don't know if I'll get them all done this week before I go away. I would like to make the large, small and minis, but we'll see how we go. I've also got a post run to do tomorrow morning. I've just been doing the orders as they come in and I'll drop them all off tomorrow. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm almost at the end of season five and I know it's like ramping up. So many people have told me like, oh, you need to, you need to watch that season like really quickly and I'm watching it all now while I make albums and I'm so stressed out. <laughs> it's so good though. I can't believe I never watched it before now. So I'm gonna crack on making the rest of my albums. I'm gonna watch some Grey's Anatomy and I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can get it edited for tomorrow and uploaded and scheduled and stuff. But the albums are all releasing on Friday the 12th. Yeah, Friday the 12th at 12 p.m. That's easy to remember. Although you'll be seeing this afterwards anyway. Um, but they'll all be available now. The mini reusable, smaller and large in every design that I've shown you in this vlog. So if you wanna go and pick them up, the link is in the description. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.